With new evidence in the murder of a 13 year old girl. For the first time, we are hearing from the man accused of killing her. Prosecutors say Madeline Soto was murdered by her mother's boyfriend in February. This is News 6 at 5. I'm Lisa Bell. Yeah, glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. We've just obtained an audio recording of police questioning that boyfriend, Stephen Stearns. News 6 investigator Mike DeForest joins us now. Mike, Stearns claims that he dropped the teen off at school, right? Uh, Matt, Stefan Stearns gave police a very detailed description about he, how he and Madeline Soto left her mom's Kissimmee apartment around 7.45 in the morning, drove to a McDonald's, and then arrived at the school about an hour later. But according to this newly released report, other evidence confirming the location of Stearns' car contradicts his story. This girl knows nothing but love here in this house. She hardly ever hears the word no. Double-edged sword, that is. In this recorded interview, Stefan Stearns tells police about the morning he claims he drove 13-year-old Madeline Soto to school. She was asleep in the car most of the time, just snoozing until we got there. Stearns says he dropped the teen off about a block away from Hunters Creek Middle School. I told her to have a good day. I loved her. She told me she loved me too. I turned around to leave, and I was watching her in my rearview mirror, and she looked like she was walking in the right direction. Authorities now believe Stearns murdered Soto earlier that morning at the Kissimmee apartment she shared with her mother. According to this newly released report, security camera videos showed Stefan Stearns' vehicle exiting the complex with a female wearing a green sweater in the front passenger seat. The female was slumped over to her left, which is an abnormal way for a person to be seated in a vehicle. She brings a lot of joy. She's a very good girl. It definitely doesn't feel the same around here if she's not here. As police were looking at Stearns' cell phone, they discovered its memory had been wiped out the same day Soto vanished. I don't know what the heck I did, but somehow during the massive OS update, I managed to factory reset my phone and lose all of my contacts, all my information. Several days after that interview, police found Soto's body in a wooded area of St. Cloud. By then, police say they had also found several videos allegedly showing Stearns sexually molesting the girl. In one of those videos, according to this report, Stearns can be heard telling the then eight-year-old that she could not play with a phone unless she performed a sex act. Lisa and Matt. Mike DeForest reporting for us. Thank you.